On my way home, after playing the show, driving alone, I crashed in the snow and climbed from the car. Thanked God that I could. My electric guitar lay crushed where I stood. I didn't know then, but that was a sign. Was it fate, an omen, luck, or design? For I met an old man. He stood at his door. He gave me his hand. I took so much more. I sat by his fire. He went to the hall. Took down his guitar that hung on the wall. He sang of the past. Like a saint to a sinner, I knew that this must be the last folk singer. The magic was plain, it was wrapped in his song. I can't explain. But as I sang along to his songs about sailors, farmers and such, mill workers and tailors, I swear I could touch their calluses, sores, the sweat on their brows as they pulled on their oars, pushed on their plows. It's true. That my plow has a different name. As I push on it now, I sweat just the same. When our eyes met, I knew he could see. I was in debt. His songs were in me, songs that will last in my soul. They will linger as they live in the soul of the last folk singer. He sang of the future of peace, love, and light. We can get there if we just. Sing it right to a world that is waking to the words and the chords of his songs for the making of plowshares from swords. The thought came along what will become of all of his songs when the old man is gone? For nothing I've made. Ever brought my heart wings like those songs that he played on six humble strings. I awoke the next day, the old man had died. His sad guitar lay right there by his side, seeming to ask for the touch of his finger and the sound. Of the voice of the lad, folk singer. And I found a note tucked under the strings with words that he wrote. A new bell must ring. I pass my guitar. It's the bell. You're the ringer. Ring on. It's the home. Of the land.